Uh, God, my brain's on I ultimate. I hate when people know the Peach matchup. My brain's on ultimate so much that I looked and I saw a gray icon for Fox. I was like, okay, we got Wolf versus Peach. <laughs> <laughs> Can't wait to see what that matchup will be like. God, I'm sorry I talk about Ultimate so much, guys. I just, I'm just i really excited for the game. Me too, man. It's going to be great. I haven't been this excited for like a new Smash in I a was already I, super excited, and yeah. then, they, then they, uh, they showed all of Daisy's skins, and now I'm even more excited. Are you going to be a Daisy main? Probably. Oh, also, Lord. all of our, because, God, he looks good. Like, Not an Alf super main? Broken. No. No. What's wrong no. with Alf? Wait, is this a match? He's worse than all of our. Was that a button check into match combo? It definitely did not start out as a match, but it is now a match. I think it is now a match, so yeah, okay. <laughs> cool. All right, so we got, you know, Frozen Peach used to be a corn main. Was like, now nah, I'm done eating glue, man. Now I'm about that, about that princess life. This character is a lot of fun. Uh, I've, I've had so much more fun playing this character than, you know, all of the others. And I'm so glad. Yeah, I'm so glad that we have that we have another Peach main around here now. For I mean, all he's, the, been, all he's, been, that he's been playing Peach for a while now. Yeah, I know. I've, I've seen it a couple of times. It's really good. And uh, like, I'm always surprised when someone switches to Peach and can actually do Peach things because they're they're so difficult. Uh, although right there, he doesn't punish an up tilt at her shield. That's a really important part of this matchup. Peach's uh, back air at her shield and dash attack at her shield if she's facing forward will punish forward uh, up tilt rather on shield. Uh, Fox up tilt, minus 17 on shields. Extremely punishable. I don't want Smash 4 to die with people not knowing that. Uh, <laughs> and that's a, that's a really important part of this matchup because if you let yourself get pressured by up tilts, you're going to just take a lot of shield pressure and not really be able to dish out much in return. Speaking of pressure, Adi with the corner pressure again against Frozen just kept him against that ledge. Could not escape, solidifies it with a back air. Now, that back air is hard to deal with. Like, if you get if it hits your shield, you just gotta kinda. They space it well, you gotta respect it. Yeah, it's very safe. Auto cancels, I believe, frame 17, something like that. Extremely fast. Um, let's see, down throw fair here? No, it just goes to the air dodge read. Down throw fair, never true on most of the cast. It might have a very small true range on Fox if he DI's out, but not enough to really be relevant. Saw Fox trying to walk up to Frozen just in case he's gonna go for like a spot dodge. Adi gets caught out, just goes for a neutral air instead. Now Adi representing uh, one of the best Foxes in the area, honestly. For sure. Uh, you know, uh, really Sans, great Fox Sans Light. Great back air right there. Oh, oh, the golf club. Try to mix him up. He does not cycle through the S match, so he has Frying Pan next, which is definitely the worst one, but Fox is so light it might just kill him. Oh, goes for the drag down up air. So that, that's an interesting thing for Peach. Uh, some Peaches go for drag down up air into a re-grab or a down tilt. That's never true, but it does get you a lot of damage if you if it works. Um, the optimal true combo there is just falling up air with both hits into jump up air for the most amount of damage. And sometimes you can even get another up air after that on Fox. Um, but he goes for the extended read there. Ooh, and no tech right there. That'll end game one. Yeah, I mean, the Foxes are always looking for that forward air. And if they manage to catch it and you miss the tech, like... Or even if you hit the tech sometimes. Dep it depends. doesn't always matter. <laughs> but you gotta, if you got to get red, though. Yeah. Like, where, where are you going to tech? Left, oh, right, it's light. Place. If it's light, he just watches you and then kills you. Yeah, he light reacts. He's got, the, he's he got those young oh, kid react times. And we got Adi again. And we got another character. Everyone's just bust out the cloud. They realize, you know, it's the end of Smash 4. Let's just bust out cloud. Frozen no please. one in New York City is going to play Bayonetta. Please Bayonet switch. Though, please switch. Yes, thank you. I don't want to see Cloud Peach. What are you talking about? about? It's a fair matchup. No, Cloud's got nothing on her. Uh, that's that's Peach's favor, 70-30. Uh, Here we go. Final destination, Cloud versus Corrin. Corrin coming back from Frozen. This could be a good this could be a good matchup for him. Uh, that, Frozen, this is kind of like a comfort pick for him now. Like Even though he, he sure. does consider himself a Peach main, if he's not feeling the matchup or if he sees the counter pick coming out from Adi, like what just happened, he's going to go with the correct character. Yeah, this is much better matchup. I don't think Corrin wins this matchup, but certainly... Much more doable, especially on FD here. Uh, good stage in this matchup, I think. We're oh, going for the pin. <laughs> Footstool, force him to burn limit right there. There's no question uh, Frozen's Corrin is definitely still his best character. Uh, he just he prefers playing Peach, which makes a lot of sense to me. Uh, and it's it's definitely gotten a lot better, but his Corrin is still very, very good. Yeah, uh, his Corrin actually took a set off of East Sam back at uh, the big house, I want to say. Or one of the big huh. houses. Like two years ago. Yeah, so his Corrin is definitely like a force to be reckless. Maybe I'm thinking of Nixie. I don't know. <laughs> I feel like he's also done that, actually. All right, here we go. Good stall off stage there. The back air. Over the up on the ledge. Waits for the air dodge. Adi not going to be able to get it. Ooh, I like the pin right there. Good spacing, yeah. keeping it safe. He went oh, so, so deep that it was too deep. 
Hashtag oh, too deep. coming down with the pin. Spawns into a pin. Adi, what were you thinking? A new definition of insta-pin right there, where you spawn and just instantly pin as soon as you possibly can. Gets the stock right there, and we have an even game here. Adi getting the first couple of hits on the second stock, but still very, very close. You got Adi approaching with a lot of uh, these aerials. Just kind of waiting waiting for a time to throw out his up air. In case Frozen commits to like a jump of some kind. There you go. Frozen throwing out the first move. Adi's going to get that shield grab. Tries to get the follow back towards committing to his jump. Had to fast fall immediately to recover. Limit on deck. Got to respect it. Did not respect back it. back on stage with the limit cross slash and it's going to hit. Up air sneaks under the pin right there. I don't know what that read was. I think <laughs> maybe he was thought, like, if it was the other direction. Oh, that was really good. Can he convert off this? Wow, yes, he can. He's dead. he's dead. Good night. Beautiful edge guard right there from Frozen. Great conversion. And if Audi just were to turn around that forward smash, we'd see a completely different result. Definitely. Because he had the right read. I think maybe it was just a flub and input error because there's no Dangerous way Frozen was going right to down there. air on the right side. Oh, that was really good. Yeah, the double pin. And now the character pick becomes really interesting. Because uh, Corrin has a lot of trouble with Fox. Peach has a lot of trouble with Cloud. So he is going to stick to the Corrin. And Game we get Fox one. here on town. Game one matters a lot. Uh, it, it does. And this is this is why. You know, in, in this matchup, uh, Frozen would definitely rather play the opposite of either of his characters for either of Odyssey's characters at this point. So now he is going to get stuck in Corrin Fox on game three. Because um, Peach definitely does a lot better than Corrin in this matchup. Uh, but at the same time, as we were mentioning, this is definitely his best character historically. Okay, playing patient. Waiting for Frozen to just like overcommit somewhere. You right that that was an opportunity, just a little hair yep. too slow. Down tilt. Triple down tilt. Gotta love Fox combos. I mean, when you're a fast oh, faller, so good. sometimes that can combo into itself. And that's that's something that Frozen wasn't really doing in the previous game, it was a lot of down tilts. Down tilts is such a good combo circuit for Horn. I think it's also a lot better against Fox than it is against Cloud, because uh, Cloud likes to hit you with aerials a lot that are safe enough a down tilt won't really punish them. Right. Uh, Fox likes to run up at you on the ground, dash attack, grab you whenever he can, land with aerials right in front of you. And Corrin down tilt outranges those, whereas it doesn't outrange a lot of Cloud's moves. And you know, as Ivan, you, you mentioned that this is a losing matchup for Corrin, but like right now, I think Frozen... It's not looking like it, is it? The thing is, Frozen has an immense amount of practice playing against the likes of the for Kill sure. Stage back in the day, you know? Oh yeah, for sure. So he definitely knows this matchup like the back of his hand. And it's show coming into fruition. Finally, right, now that Good neutral air. Right this could be Adi's chance to get some momentum going. It's the read. Just, go just gets the jab jab, though. Frozen jumps out of the pivot up tilt. Try to go for the pin on the ledge. Was not able to get that out fast enough. I really like that Nair Rider shield option from Odyssey right there. Trying to That's apply a lot of shield damage. Yeah. That shield looking super weak, and Frozen's taking the opportunity to push on the aggressive, the aggression. Looking for the frame trap right there. Oh, he just kicks in his face. He's Now, he has kicked away every pin this whole set so yeah. far. Conditioning. First time that he kicks in his face right there. Works out really well, and now Frozen one stock away. Adi thought he was going to do it again. Oh my gosh. Here we go. This is Adi's opportunity. He's got him off stage, 101%. And this is where this matchup can get really tricky for Corrin. Really hard for her to get off ledge against Fox. Fox, such an effective ledge trapper. And while Corrin has a lot of very threatening moves coming off of the ledge, a lot of them are very unsafe against a character with the frame data of Fox. As we see the pin kick away get punished. Fox, one of the characters fast enough to punish pin kick away rather consistently. Fox Illusion's back onto the I'll stage. I'll never fully understand Fox's side B in this game. I feel like I see the same interactions with opposite results a lot of times. Good call out right there. Honestly, he'd been jumping a lot to keep him in the corner with back airs. Gets the setup, a lot of neutral airs. Good. Talk right there. Mixing him up. Has yet to go for that as well. But he's on a 68% with, ma with almost maximum rage. He's going to be able to defuse that rage, however, with a back air center stage. Good play right there by Adi. Tie up the stocks, but a significant percent lead. We'll see if he can vortex him long enough to get the percent back, but the combo breaker up air from Corrin. That was good on Adi to save his resource. We had to save that double jump for as long as possible. Now Frozen's going to have to stay on stage as long as possible. There's no way he wants to go off stage against a Fox at 7%. I really like that option right there. He just empty landed right there after the side B jump. He knew he was out of options pretty much. And here, here's where this matchup can get tricky. Gets 40% right back. Frozen still with a comfortable lead, but definitely a lot closer now. Oh, is that going to do it? the pin. There it is. Solidifies the set. Frozen taking a set off of Adi. Two to one. That was a great With comeback win right there. 
from Frozen. Wins a very close game two with the clutch double pin edge guard on the cloud. Then switches into this matchup. Has to go into either that or Peach Cloud. Picks that one. Does a great job. Listen, dude, all I'm saying is take that corn out of your pocket, put it in your palm, put that peach in the trash. <laughs>